In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw latex. So first of all, we have the most important point straight away. Latex is reflective. Now, you probably think, oh my god, who doesn't know that? But because of latex being reflective, it tends to reflect ambient light and main light sources, etc. When we draw latex, we have to think about that. Now, the second point would be that latex is pretty flexible and therefore you can stretch it out a lot. So if you draw it, you should avoid drawing the piece of clothing ripped apart, etc. Remember, we are not drawing ripped jeans here. Third point is that latex can be any color. Yeah, most of the time, at least I, think that latex is black. I mean, it's so obvious that it can be any color, but I just never think of this. So if you want to draw it in red or blue or any color you like, then go ahead and do so. Honestly, this point was just a reminder for you. And the last point would be that latex mostly has hard edges because of its reflectiveness I talked about in point 1. Of course, you can blur some edges, but don't overdo it. Ah, and something I forgot to tell you is to always use references. Because latex is so reflective, it is quite hard to figure out all the shadows and lights and where they belong at the beginning. Now, I will show you how to draw latex and you can go along with me if you want to. First, I looked up a reference and now I have to draw a basic shape of the piece of clothing I want to draw. Then the next step would be to fill this shape with the color you want. Next, we will do the shadows first. For this step, I recommend you to use the lasso tool because this makes it so much easier having those hard and clean edges I talked about earlier. Because this reference is a black piece of clothing, the shadows will be a darker grey. If you have a red for example, there would be a red shadow that adds a lot of contrast. Why a lot of contrast you may ask now? Well, very reflective materials tend to have a lot of contrast between shadows and lights. You can also see this on gold or other metals. And don't forget to move the color wheel when choosing a shadow. On this reference, you can see that the shadows that are closest to the vocal point tend to be brighter than most of the other on this reference. If you have tension points on your piece of clothing and you want those to have less sharp edges, you're free to go ahead and blur them a bit. But really don't overdo that or else the tension point will get, well, blurry and therefore it loses its tension. <laughs> well, I just hope you get the points. Also, you could try to mix in a bit of blue or orangish tint into the transition if you decide to blur it, but I will explain why to do that next. Now that we blocked in the shadows, we can actually blur some of them, but the key here is to don't overdo it or else it looks like a less reflective material and we don't want it. If you have done that, I want you to look at your reference even closer. The shadows usually differ in color. You have to observe what you draw closely. If we look right up here for example, we can see that the shadow got a blue and the orangish tint to it. You will have to draw in some of those color changes to make it look more lively. Finally, we can move on to the highlights. Now, the highlights tend to have sharp edges like the rest of the piece. But you can go ahead and blur one end as you can see with this highlight for example. You can also apply a bit of glow to a highlight by just brushing over it lightly with a soft airbrush. Drawing the highlights is relatively simple. And something I can tell you is that it sometimes is better to add a few more highlights in your drawing but again, don't overdo that. You should only do this if you think there's something missing and it doesn't look completed. Now, you could go ahead and give it a final touch. You can make a new layer, set it to overlay and then draw one half of the canvas blue and the other one orange. You could vary those colors around depending on the scene you're going for. This overlay layer makes sure the highlights you blurred and those you made glow get some color to them. And that is nearly all I have to say about drawing latex. You should just go ahead and draw with a few references to get the hang of it and then all those steps will fall into place easily. I hope this video could help you out a bit and I wish you a wonderful day.